Good afternoon. You are looking live at Market Square where we just, uh, folks, experienced, encountered a strong to severe thunderstorm with hail occurring on Market Square. Now that storm has passed. We still have a hail core that is occurring just south of Knoxville. Let's take you to Skywatch 10 radar. A severe thunderstorm warning continues for Knoxville and Knox County until 315. Also includes Anderson Blunt. Do want to mention that Knox County and Knoxville also under a flash flood warning until 630. So we've got severe weather for right now for about a another 20 minutes until 315 and we've got the potential for flooding. The atmosphere is chock full of moisture. Uh, uh, dew points are very high. Again, the instability is also high. So we're looking at all modes of severe weather possible, including the uh, localized flooding with some heavy to ritual downpours in some of these storms making the way through. Let me widen out and just show you the severe thunderstorm warning till 315. Again, coming from Loudoun and Blunt now into Knox County and Knoxville, including UT campus and Cherokee Farm and uh, down Alcoa Highway and again uh, anywhere from South Knox right into downtown Knoxville, including just moving through Market Square and a lot of lightning. And again, hail is associated with these strong to severe storms uh, that we're seeing. Uh, basically seeing anywhere from uh, small pea size hail up to nickel size hail, even quarter size hail is still possible as uh, seen reports of some uh, large hail from earlier this afternoon. That's the current storm we're looking at. Again, heavy rain, strong to severe storms making their way through through Knoxville and down toward Louisville, including down toward McGee Tyson Airport and uh, just to the north of the airport, but uh, coming out of uh, uh, Blunt County into Knox County, Alcoa Highway, torrential rainfall, Chapman Highway coming going from Knox into Sevier County. Uh, you're we'll continuing to see the potential also for some very heavy rainfall. Uh, zooming on in, and this is a look at the last hour. Here's what we're looking at. I'll go ahead and stop. This is our vertical integrated liquid showing potential hail cores. So right now we've got some uh, hail being indicated likely around Louisville, northern Blount County, and also right pretty much over Knoxville, or at least over downtown Knoxville that's continuing to shift on off uh, to the east. And again, this is what we're looking at. This is the, the hail core that was kind of moving from around Bearden, uh, downtown Knoxville, including Market Square, UT campus, and continuing to work its way on through the region. So again, these storms have continued to fire up. The sun comes out, more the sun comes out, the atmosphere heats back up, the atmosphere recovers. Again, we've got plentiful moisture, we've got heating, we've got a strong area of low pressure back to our west moving in, cold air loft giving us the possibility of hell, and we've got a strong cold front that's also moving in, and that's going to continue the possibility of strong to severe storms. Uh, we do have a tornado watch that will be in place till 8 p.m. I'll show you that in just a moment. I want to uh, pan on over though. We've got new storms that are firing up and working their way up the Cumberland Plateau and up the Southern Valley. So what I want to focus in on right now is a new storm coming up from Cleveland and Bradley County into McMinn County around Charleston and Calhoun. Again, northern Bradley County, including near Hopewell and Cleveland right now, that's going to be moving northeast into McMinn County. So if you're watching us in uh, McMinn County right now, again, we're looking at the possibility of a, uh, a strong to maybe developing severe storm. This could have some hell in it, certainly going to be watching out for that possibility as uh, right now that is a, a strong to severe storm that we're seeing uh, developing across portions of Bradley County. Okay, let me take you back to radar and show you what else we're looking at across the region. Look at all the showers and storms making the way north of Chattanooga, and this is the Southern Cumberland Plateau, and uh, we're looking at south of Crossville. Again, these uh, new storms will continue to fire and head in your direction. So here's what we're looking at. Very heavy rainfall. First of all, a lot of atmospheric moisture is going to be coming back in uh, to parts of East Tennessee, and we're going to continue to be talking about uh, the uh, the potential for strong to severe storms. Here's a look at the big picture of what we're seeing right now. Again, those uh, a new cluster of strong to severe storms and notice what we're seeing. Basically, it's rotating underneath an upper low that's located back to our west in northwest Tennessee, parts of Kentucky. And we're, what we're looking at is some upper level energy that, uh, that's a nice feature. Some upper level energy that's continuing to come on into our region, and we're looking at that continuing uh, to circulate around the base of this upper low into East Tennessee. Very strong winds are continuing to come on into our region. So that's what we're looking at as far as that potential into this afternoon. Here's a look at the tornado watch. Let me show you that full and graphically here. We do have a tornado watch that is in place until 9 p.m.
And again, the main impacts are going to continue to be damaging wind gusts that could produce down trees and power outages and also up to uh, large hill up to quarter inch in diameter. Isolated tornadoes will be possible across parts of our region. So again, that's one of the, uh, the factors, one of the features we're looking at as these storms continue uh, to make their way uh, from Middle Tennessee into East Tennessee. Again, uh, looking at some more information, uh, numerous reports of uh, quarter size hail occurring in Trebway in Hancock County. Throughout the afternoon, we've been seeing some of these hail uh, reports that are coming in with some of these stronger storms. Uh, and just looking at some information from the National Weather Service, again, the potential for uh, hell with this low pressure moving in that's located back to our west across portions of uh, Middle Tennessee. Again, that's going to give us that cold air loft and give us the increased likelihood to produce some hell as that uh, storm system continues to move in. So especially from Crossville to Knoxville and across the northern half of our region, again, hail is going to be uh, particularly likely in some of the strong to severe storms. In addition to the large hail possible, as we mentioned, we're also looking at uh, damage and wind gust uh, possible. There's the tornado watch. Notice it does include uh, the Cumberland Plateau, and it also does include uh, the rest of East Tennessee. This is going to be in place until uh, 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern Daylight Time. Let me take some of the other information off here so you can see just uh, what we're looking at as far as uh, the uh, uh, the tornado watch across the region and uh, that's this is what we're looking at again that watch is going to be in place until 9 p.m across our region and uh, we are continuing to watch the possibility of strong to severe storms uh, moving into the region so there it is again that's going to be in place until nine o'clock that means severe weather is going to be possible in and close to the watch area so uh, again that does include as you can see all of east tennessee uh, that's uh, in i should say 8 p.m not 9 p.m 8 p.m eastern daylight time that watch is in effect until eight o'clock eastern uh, daylight time and that's something we're continuing to track. So again, if you're just joining us, we're going to uh, leave this stream up. We're going to uh, continue to uh, track and monitor severe thunderstorms that will likely be uh, uh, continuing to be issued coming out of Middle Tennessee along the plateau of the Southern Valley. The one warning we have right now is for Knoxville and Knox County. Oh, good. We've got our Alcoa Highway camera back up. Let me uh, take you to that view as uh, it's sometimes the weather will cause it to go out. But here's a live view from, thank you, Cass, from our Alcoa Highway camera in Blunt County, looking north toward Knoxville. And again, there's a look at those dark uh, clouds with that. You can kind of see the sheets of rain. And by the way, uh, it's t tune back in at uh, on channel 10 coming up for our shows at four five and six. Of course, we have the very late severe weather coverage. We're going to show you some hail video in Crossville, but also a market square that was uh, recorded in a time lapse. It's uh, pretty interesting. Folks initially were huddled under trees when it was raining. Then as soon as it started to hail, they made pretty good time with the 40 yard dash scooting across there. So we're, we're going to show you that coming up in some of our shows as hail has been associated with quite a few of these storms uh, moving in. By the way, we've cooled to 67 degrees as uh, across the region uh, right now, but those dew points uh, very sticky and uh, very high across the region. Oh yeah, with the impact, thank you. And uh, that's what we're going to continue to be uh, monitoring. We do have a 10 weather impact that's going to continue. Thank you, Kess, for the rest of this afternoon on into early this evening as the potential for some strong to severe storms is going to be with us. So we do have a 10 weather impact day, and that's why we want you to stay alert. Here's once again the potential impacts. A large hail we mentioned up to quarter signs possible. Damage and winds in excess of 60 miles per hour. Isolated tornadoes. All modes of severe weather will be possible. Let's walk through and take a look at our uh, our high res model forecast and we'll kind of walk through slowly just go with slow here. This is four o'clock this afternoon. And so again, within the hour, more of these strong to severe storms. Here is five o'clock. And again, uh, looking at still more of these scattered strong to severe storms. There's 6 p.m. This model has it generally between Lenore City, Maryville to Pigeon Forge as some strong to severe storms possible. And then after about 6, 7, 8 p.m., and again, that watch goes until 8 p.m., that tornado watch until 8 p.m. for all of East Tennessee. Once we get past at least 8 o'clock, if not just before, we'll see a break and uh, improving conditions. So the main threat for any severe weather and risk of severe weather is expected to be generally as we head uh, between now and 8 p.m. Let me go ahead and show you what we're looking at as far as speaking of severe weather and the overall uh, risk. Here's what we're looking at. Again, uh, we do have that... Uh, Enhanced risk area that does include 
uh, all of East, uh, excuse me, the southern half of East Tennessee, zooming on in, that includes Knoxville, Oak Ridge, Lenore City, Maryville, Dandridge, Morristown, Pigeon Forge, Newport, and Greenville, and areas to the south. Areas shaded in yellow have a elevated slight risk area. That includes basically the rest of East Tennessee, Kentucky, and Virginia. But we do have elevated and even likely risk for strong to severe thunderstorms as we head through the rest of this afternoon on into this evening. So again, the main threat damage and winds, um, but uh, as we mentioned, large hail and isolated tornadoes are possible. So that's why we're continuing to bring you some of this long form coverage uh, right here online and uh, on Facebook. You can uh, follow us Facebook and Twitter or social media platforms. Uh, Cassie Nall, Rebecca Sweet, Mike Witcher also. We're all going to be uh, 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 certainly uh, tuning in to the very latest and keeping you updated throughout the afternoon with the very latest severe weather information. So uh, we certainly want you to stay alert. Again, let me try uh, one of our jet stream uh, uh, arrows was not working, but I'm going to illustrate this. What we're looking at is the strongest winds aloft are starting to make their way from Middle Tennessee eastward. So what we're going to have to really watch is the next several hours, basically generally between now and about 5 to 6 p.m. Next two to three hours, as this upper level wind energy, notice some of these severe thunderstorm warnings, yellow polygon is around Nashville. Well, that's that upper level winds are strengthening. That low pressure is getting closer. Large hail, some damaged winds, likely Nashville East. But as these winds come around the base of this upper low, see the lightning? Watch how the lightning just blossoms. And basically in the last hour, hour and a half, and it just really is intensifying. So that's the upper level winds that are really starting to uh, factor in to some of these new strong to severe storms just back to our west. And so that's why a tornado watch was issued and extended until 8 o'clock. So I know earlier we were talking about a morning and early afternoon rounds. We've already had those. We kind of have a round moving through now. But we're going to have an additional round of strong to severe storms, at least one or two more rounds, at least, as we go late afternoon and early evening. And that's simply because the cold front is still way back to our west, coming through West Tennessee, and the upper low is still located, again, uh, generally, uh, back to our, our south and west. I kind of go ahead and plot the position of that low pressure. That's that feature back there, again, with a cold front that is trailing off it and continuing to uh, uh, be draped to the south. So until these features make their way on through the region, that's what we're looking at. Again, there's the cold front, and everything's got to generally make its way to the east toward Knoxville. So that low pressure's got cold air aloft. That cold front's going to lift the warm, moist, unstable air out ahead of it. And all, where you see all these yellow polygons, those are severe thunderstorm warnings. And where you see the green, we have a flash flood warning that is in place until uh, 630. And I'm going to take you on up into parts of Kentucky because I also believe we have a new tornado warning at, uh, maybe just outside of our area. Yeah, that's just outside of our area, just about a little bit. So just wanted to check that. That's a, a separate storm. Um, Straight line wind damage has been confirmed off Chestnut View Drive near Victor Ash Park. Large and healthy tree limbs or trees themselves are mostly snapped. Um, some information uh, from uh, the, well, our Weather Service uh, chat that uh, we're getting that information. So again, near Victor Ash Park, some large healthy trees have been reported down. And uh, so that certainly uh, it gives us a great indication of the potential wind energy with these storms. Again, here's what we're looking at right now. These, uh, these are some strong to severe storms over the last hour making their way back from the Cumberland Plateau and into the valley. So the other factor going on here is now that we're into May and all the trees, of course, are leafed out, the foliage is out. And so everything's got a full canopy of leaves on them now. So those trees and the leaves act as a, act as a cell. It catches the wind. So all the trees effectively catch all of the wind's energy and can only, uh, you know, tilt over so far until they're either uprooted or snapped when you have some of these damaging wind gusts coming in. So uh, we have a brand new, uh, thank you, Kess, brand new severe thunderstorm warning. I don't see it yet, coming in. Um, for Ray County, and Meigs County into, oh, there's, into, uh, yeah, there's, Roan County until 345, and we'll zoom on in. We're looking at 60 mile per hour gust quarter size hail. That continues to be the main threat with just about all of these storms. So, new severe thunderstorm warning. And again, that's going to include Central Ray, Southwest Loudoun, Central Meigs, North Central McMinn, Southwestern Roan. And uh, here's the yellow polygon. Again, we still have the, uh, 
uh, the flash flood warning also in place for Knox County and uh, some of the other counties until uh, 630. But there's the new warning. Loud McMinn, Megs and Ray until 345. Again, right now a strong to severe storm was located near Dayton. This storm's moving northeast at 40 miles per hour. Again, damage and wind gusts of 60 miles per hour plus possible in quarter size hail. Uh, hail damage to vehicles expected and wind damage possible to roofs, siding and the trees. So tree damage will be possible. Uh, this does include the Interstate 75 and cor corridor as well within this yellow polygon. So again, severe thunderstorm warning at uh, until 345 for Loud, McMinn, Megs and uh, and Rogue, Roan counties. Um, and, and again, just the National Weather Service in Morristown uh, on top of these storms, obviously responsible for issuing all the warnings, some of their information also. I mentioned the wind energy that's coming in associated with these storms, and uh, but also uh, I'll go back to that that, uh, that one particular map and show you that um, that low pressure that's moving in again the strong winds going to fuel the chance for strong to severe storms, but also with that low pressure, the cold air aloft associated with that low is going to give the chance for more hail. So again, that's what we're looking at. There's the the area of low pressure, and again that cold front is draped off that low. So those two features are going to give us better chances for significant storms and large hail as uh, those move in. Again, we do have, uh, don't know how many trees down, but report of a, a large tree down or trees in Victor Ash Park that coming in with the local storm report. Speaking of which, let's see if we can show you that. Uh, some of the storms that we've already been seeing have been producing some wind damage. We've had numerous reports of, uh, of some large hail as well. And um, I'll try to pull this up for you in just a moment. We have LSR. Hold on, one second. Here we go. That's what I was looking for. There's the uh, storm reports across the region. Uh, again, we have had the numerous reports of some large hail, uh, some wind damage. Just to show you, for example, uh, Lake Tansy and Crossville reported hail size over two inches. Becca, is that uh, seeing that one particular report from Lake Tansy over that's two inch? That's what it's showing here. Um, Had seen that. Wow, may have to check on that. Quarter, yeah, quarter size hail. Quite a few reports of that. Let me go back and see if I can locate uh, that particular port. Um, but again, Lake Tansy, um, see if I can locate that for you. But Lake Tansy, yeah, here it is. Let's see. Uh, yeah, two and a quarter inch hail. But now that's from the public, but you're talking about, whew, that's uh, like racquetball size. Rockford? Yeah. Okay. Um, again, here's what we're looking at. The enhanced risk for severe storms is going to continue as we go through this afternoon and into this evening. Tornado watch until 9 p.m. And uh, we are continuing oh, to see uh, but you got a good one coming in. Light, light. Yeah, let me zoom on in. We do have a severe thunderstorm warning that continues for Knox County until 315. It's almost about to expire. However, we are looking at a uh, hail core that's uh, continuing to be uh, 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 shown here, if I'll get to it in just a minute. There it is, I uh, apologize. We switched over uh, rundowns and getting all our maps uh, lined up here. Strawberry Plains, we've got a hail core that has the potential for some large hail from Mascot to Strawberry Plains and right along 11E. So heading out of Knox County into Jefferson County, again, uh, near Strawberry Plains, Dantridge Pike, uh, coming up shortly for you, mascot to Strawberry Plains. Heads up, if this storm continues on its track, could be impacting you in New Market in Jefferson City and making its way. What, what's that? Confirmation. Quarter size hail confirmed, Strawberry Plains. Coming out of a, in East Knox. Thank you, Becca. And more hail possible coming into uh, Knoxville. In Knox County, we can definitely hear the very heavy rainfall. Again, zooming on in, this is the severe thunderstorm warning. Again, it's about to expire, but we have very heavy rain and confirmed large hail. More than likely, 
what we're likely going to see, it's going to pop up any minute here. Uh, yeah, look at that intense, heavy That's rain this, yeah. and some large hail, strawberry plains. So uh, we should have what's probably going to happen is this warning's going to be uh, extended or a new warning is going to be issued to take the place of the one in Knoxville now. It should be including Strawberry Plains, Jefferson City, and there is a, an additional warning that's uh, in place until 315 for Granger, Hamlin, Hancock, and Hawkins. So we are anticipating a new severe thunderstorm warning for at least East Knox in the parts of Jefferson, Granger counties forthcoming here shortly. So uh, again, if you're, if you're watching us from Knoxville, we've got scattered strong storms. Let me show you uh, the, the latest view from Market Square, uh, still some uh, moderate to heavier rains that were passing through earlier. We did have some pretty good hail coming down in Market Square earlier that had folks scrambling. That was pretty impressive uh, to see uh, the impacts of that particular storm that was making its way uh, uh, into and through the Knoxville area. Here's what it looks like live from Alcoa Highway. And again, there are the dark clouds looking north. Uh, again, any one of these storms has, is going to have torrential rainfall. So as far as driving conditions, be aware of ponding and flooding. Uh, I'll tell you what, I could testify to that late last night, some very heavy rainfall. So thank you, Cass. Here's the new warning that we were anticipating uh, being issued uh, again uh, for um, East Knox County. Zoom on in. It is for uh, Granger, Hamblin, Hawkins, and uh, Jefferson counties. It's coming out of Knox County uh, until 4 p.m. So there's the brand new warning. This will include Jefferson City, uh, Strawberry Plains, and again, just uh, expecting some damaging wind gust in excess of 60 miles per hour, and also the potential for some large hail. Let me show you, there's a look at the radar view for this particular storm, and let me show you the potential hail that we're looking at right now. Strawberry Plains, we uh, uh, just had a confirmation of quarter size hail coming into our, uh, our weather center. And uh, so here is the latest uh, warning. There's other, it only listed four counties, but this includes Cock, uh, Granger, also includes Green, Hamlin, Hawkins, Jefferson counties until 4 p.m. Quarter size hail and 60 mile per hour plus winds are possible. The storm was located over New Market or just west in Jefferson City, moving northeast at 45 miles per hour. Again, 60 mile per hour damage gust and quarter size hail possible. We want this photo that's impressive. One. Okay, thank you. Um, so that's, that's what we're looking at as far as that particular uh, storm. Let me go try to grab that. I'm going to yep. pull in a uh, new uh, hail picture, damage picture that we do have that I will show you momentarily. And, um, and we appreciate uh, all your reports folks are submitting. Um, and uh, we, are, we are looking at, uh, whenever you submit a hell photo, if you put a, uh, okay. if you got a, a quarter or a coin, I should say, that you can um, include in that hell photo, that would really appreciate it. Here's what it looks like from Strawberry Plains Pike. This is coming in from Betty, uh, Betty. Betty on Facebook. <laughs> I'll go Cratchy, Cache, or Betty. Betty. Thank you, Betty. Strawberry Plains Pike. I hope I didn't uh, mispronounce your name. I probably did. Quarter size hail, uh, maybe just under quarter size, actually. That's, uh, yeah, that's nickel to almost quarter size. But uh, thank you very much for that uh, hail report. And so that's just coming in from Strawberry Plains Pike. So again, uh, to take you back to what we're seeing on radar, again, uh, we are looking at the, the uh, Stronger thunderstorms rotating back in from Crossville, uh, west of Spring City. Again, we're likely going to have more warnings uh, is being issued for these storms as they continue to rotate in uh, from the west southwest. So again, notice what we're seeing right here. We got uh, very heavy rainfall. See the purple colors, intense torrential rainfall being reported and indicated on radar right here. Also, uh, we're looking at the potential for hail. So that's what we're seeing. Um, across the region. With any one of these storms, we're having the potential for very heavy rain. Look at, I'm showing you the vertical integrated liquid, the VIL product right here. This also gives us an idea of how much hail could be occurring. We're seeing any, one, any area where you see a darker green or yellow or a higher color shade, that's hail. So some of these lighter blues, that may be pea size hail, maybe a little bit of small size hail south of Maryville. But there's a look at our hail, hail core near New Market in Jefferson City. We've got another hail core south of Athens, got another one south of Spring City, south of Crossville, Lake Tansy, 
You've got another storm moving into your region. Lake Tansy, you have very large hail from earlier. Um, and so again, that's what we're seeing. And more storms with some large hail coming back into Overton County. Uh, that will be to the west of the plateau, southwest of you in Jamestown. That's going to likely be heading toward Fentress and maybe Cumberland County. So, and, and another hail core that's coming out of Scott into Campbell County. So again, any one of these particular storms has the potential for producing large hail. So that's what we're looking at in Norma, moving uh, toward La Follette, Fincastle, McLeod Mountain. You'll have a chance for some large hail. Also, Crossville, Lantana. Again, I mentioned Lake Tansy. You're going to have another strong storm moving across Highway 27, 127, and continuing uh, to move into southern portions of Cumberland County. Moving on further south, south of Spring City, just east of Highway 27, mentioned that, another hail core that will be moving between Spring City and 10 Mile, and coming on over again up into uh, Blount County and portions of Knox County, small to medium sized hail possible. That generally is covering Knox County up into Jefferson County. And again, we have the potential for some larger hail, particularly between Jeff uh, Strawberry Plains and Jefferson City uh, right now. So uh, that is the very latest as far as the hail potential. As I mentioned, we have a uh, flash flood warning till 630 for Blunt, Knox, Loudon, and Severe. With more thunderstorms repeatedly coming in, we're going to have also, in addition to the hail and damage and wind threat, we're having a flooding threat. So just about every mode of severe weather is possible this afternoon. The isolated tornadoes cannot be ruled out. So far, main impacts are what's been expected are the damage and wind gust and also the large hail. Here's a look at our potential impacts for the rest of today. Have a high moderate impact with damage and winds that could cause down trees. We've had reports of that. The latest from Victor Ash Park that could lead to possible power outages. Hopefully not so far so good as far as power outages. Haven't seen a lot of those yet and hopefully we won't, but we could. And also large hail up to one inch in diameter, possibly higher than that. And so those two are moderate impacts. Those are the greater uh, impacts expected, the higher impacts with this particular storm system. But isolated tornado is possible. And because of this reason, again, we do have a 10 weather impact day that will be continuing as we go through the rest of this afternoon. Here's a look at our very latest model forecast between right now and 4 p.m. Again, more of these scattered storms. We'll be continuing live at 5 at 4, of course, with uh, Beth and Leslie and crew will be coming up uh, 40 minutes from right now. There's 5 p.m. More scattered strong to possible severe storms. Uh, let's see, making sure that's outside our area. That's way up in Kentucky, tornado warning outside of our viewing area. Um, got a new warning for Cumberland County coming. Uh, for a severe thunderstorm warning, I believe that is. Uh, here's a look at 5 to 6 p.m. Again, and this model just updated as well. So it's, it's basically confirming what we're seeing. Let me go back and show you uh, 4, 5, and 6. And this kind of tells the story because here we are coming up almost at 3.30. Oh. From 4 Wait, to 5. That, uh, yes. That's normal. Yeah, that's, that, that's a new one as well. That's brand new. That's brand oh, new. That's a that was that one we were looking at just a moment ago in Norma moving toward. There that's a good one. That is a good hail core. The storm we were looking at a moment ago, and I'll show you, uh, these storms again between now and 6 p.m. are going to continue to intensify. We will see a, a break as we go later on as these storms continue uh, to make their way uh, out of the region. So that's what we're looking at as far as the potential uh, 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 storm and hail as we go in time. All right, let me show you a radar view. We do have a brand new, two new severe thunderstorm warnings, multiple severe thunderstorm warnings ongoing in East Tennessee right now. Again, tornado watch continues until 9 p.m., uh, 8 p.m., excuse me, for all of East Tennessee. And uh, here's a look at all the different warnings that are occurring across our region. Let me go ahead and show you the very latest and uh, get to Skywatch 10 radar. And the very latest warning we have is up into uh, Campbell County, Claiborne and Scott until 4 p.m. And here is that particular warning. Elk Valley, Habersham, Clarefield coming out of Campbell into Claiborne County, but also Scott County. And this is going to continue to impact areas, uh, particularly into the uh, eventually the Powell Valley, but north of La Follette, northern sections of Campbell County. Be prepared. Caraval Mountain and uh, near south of Jellicoe and making the way to the east southeast. Again, damaging winds in excess of 60 miles per hour. Large hail also possible. Here's the very latest hail core. And as Cassie was just showing, that is some large hail right over Interstate 75. If you can safely submit a photo on 
social media or you can email it to our newsroom, newstips at wbir.com or post it on Facebook, share it with us on Twitter, go to our WBR weather page, WBR weather Twitter, at WBR weather Twitter, and share that with us safely. If you can have a coin uh, in reference in the palm of your hand, or at least a coin beside the hailstone, that gives us a good idea of exactly uh, how large the hail is. Quarter size hail or larger is considered severe, but we've had numerous reports anywhere from P to nickel, um, and even larger than that, and, and all uh, sizes in between, it seems like. Uh, did you look at Alcoa Highway tonight? Uh, yeah, that dark, yes, I'll, I'll yeah. check it out again. Yeah. UT high campus high. just had a report of uh, P to quarter size hell 25 minutes ago. Yep. Um, that coming in? Okay, okay. let me uh, take you to uh, the latest from Alcoa Highway, McGee Tyson Airport. Blue skies. Uh, yeah, we've got some breaks in the clouds and some dark threatening clouds in the background. So this has been what we've seen. It storms, the sun comes out, the atmosphere, heats back up, it percolates if you will, it heats up, it's, the atmosphere is very humid, it's very uh, uh, moist, and it's very also uh, warm and unstable as we have a cold front low pressure lifting in. And it's got plenty of uh, energy available and moisture in the atmosphere to create thunderstorms. And because we have cold air aloft, we're also looking at large hail, damaged winds, and uh, now, thankfully, well, we've had one uh, tornado warning, but that's the only one we've had up in Kentucky that was coming out of, uh, it was Claiborne, started in Claiborne County. Bell and Harlan. Thank you. It did start in Claiborne County in East Tennessee and continued northeastward up into Bell and Harlan. That's the one tornado warning we've had as of earlier uh, today. And I believe, was it just before 1 p.m.? Around the 1 o'clock hour? It was at like so, 1.15. About 1.15, so just after 1 o'clock. That was the earlier storm as far as uh, isolated tornadoes are possible. Um, but that's the only one we've had so far. But because we have the potential in the atmosphere uh, to produce some more. This is what uh, we're going to be keeping track of. This is what's happening right now in Knoxville for Market Square, Lantana. where again, uh, we're now looking at. Sunny. And it's sunny. Yeah, That's what we're doing. We're yeah the we're, sun shines we're back out. And here's what we're looking at. Just reloads and goes again. That's Near it. Lantana, if you haven't already done that one. Okay. Sorry. Yes, uh, Cumberland County, we were looking at that storm. That's, that is also a brand new severe thunderstorm warning. Um, let me take you to uh, Cumberland County. Uh, Lake Tansy, Lantana, large hail possible. Again, we were just uh, checking this storm out a moment ago and also looking at the potential for very large hail. Thank you, Cass. Mm -hmm. Lake Tansy, coming into Crab Orchard, coming into Crab Orchard making its way to the Sounds east. Uh, and uh, yeah, and getting information from the National uh, Weather Service, just uh, again, any one of these storms continues to have potential for large hail. Matter of fact, the storm, we're going to go down into Spring City, Decatur. That big, growing crazy. Yeah, not only 60 mile per hour damage in wind gusts possible, half dollar size hail. So, mm -hmm. all right, cross, south of Crossville, Lake Tansy, Crab Orchard, take cover. Large hail, quarter size or larger. Damage, wow, look at that. I know. That, that storm has up. really grown. We're going to loop that. that. I'm going to post that yeah. one first. I'll slow this down as the uh, default uh, speed is not slow enough, so we'll correct that. Uh, let me let me widen out and show you that because th these storms mean business. It and drag yeah, so. uh, Crossville, south of Crossville, Spring City, heading toward uh, Tim also Ray yeah, and Megs right County. That's moving right into the Watts Bar yeah, uh, uh, Reservoir. Right to Watts Bar Lake. Watts Bar Lake. Uh, certainly get off the water, Watts Bar. Uh, and uh, certainly this is going to be continuing, perhaps impact areas eventually toward Paint Rock, uh, Kingston. Uh, probably it's going to be moving into Roan County. So we're looking at some lar some hailers, is, uh, to be more specific, large hailstorms that could also have some damaging winds. Up to half dollar size? Up to half dollar one? size with that particular storm in Ray and Meigs counties, yes. Wow. So let me stop this uh, right now, but I did want to show you the loop. And so again, Cumberland County, Ray and Meigs County, Watts Bar Lake, large hail is likely. And elsewhere and otherwise, Jefferson City, Dantridge, uh, we've got at least some small to medium sized hail more likely. And also uh, in Campbell County, uh, just to the uh, right over Interstate 75, tell you what, folks are likely pulled over and uh, try, trying to seek shelter um, because of the forward momentum in your car. You don't want to go too fast, and obviously when it's hailing. Uh, so you, that, could do, that could certainly do a lot of damage to uh, vehicles, though, potentially even break some glass. It's some pretty large hail over Interstate 75, again, up in Campbell County. And very specifically, we're talking about Highway 63, so uh, Royal Blue School. And continuing, that's north of Caraville. 
And so I'll take a gander that's exit uh, anywhere between 141 and 152 up Interstate 75. Uh, you know, broadly, it's between Caravel and Elk Valley. And uh, I tell you, no, I know exactly. Yeah, that's right when you get off to go to Huntsville in Scott County. So that's exit 141. Very large hill. Uh, and yes, there's some <laughs> uh, buildings nearby, though. So I'm sure some folks are, are scrambling, uh, no, no doubt, to take cover. That is a large hill core. And again, the potential also for maybe some damage winds. Let me check out the very latest uh, winds. Uh, some gusty winds possible. I don't necessarily see severe winds at this time, 40 to 50 mile per hour winds, but main impact is the potential uh, for some large hail within that storm. Uh, here is the storm uh, back in Jefferson County that also has potential for large hail in Jefferson City, New Market. Uh, Jefferson City heading toward Alpha. The National Weather Service radar has got a very good up close and personal personal view of this storm making its way from Jefferson City to Alpha from Jefferson County into Hamlin County now large hail also extends down to Dandridge so Douglas Lake and Cherokee Lake the Lakeway area you've got strong to severe storms that severe thunderstorm warning for about another 30 minutes for Granger Hamlin Hawkins and Jefferson counties and again uh, certainly take cover with uh, this particular storm as it makes its way off to the east northeast. So again, here's the wider view. I'll go ahead and put it in motion for you. This is just over the last hour and look at the multiple severe thunderstorm warnings. Just had another one pop up. First Northern uh, Fentress. Yeah, well, to make that to them. Northern Fentress and this one just oh. Teleco Plains. We've got uh, yeah, Livingston, the one we were watching in Overton County and west of you in Jamestown. That's not severe. I'll get to that one in a moment. Keep going. Let's folks. let's yeah. Welcome to Friday afternoon. Yeah, Friday well, Tim Weather Impact Day is uh, is in uh, fully underway now. Uh, Inglewood Teleco Plains large hail. This is a new severe thunderstorm warning for Blunt, McMinn, and Monroe. Right now for McMinn and Monroe, it will be moving into Blunt County shortly. That's why I see this long yellow polygon. It could be uh, touching Greenback from Vaughn or to Greenback, part of Loudoun County, but it's coming out of McMinn into Monroe County right now. Take cover, Teleco Plains, Highway 68, and anywhere between Teleco Plains and uh, Madisonville. It's gonna be crossing, and it is crossing over right over Highway 68 right now with large hail. Let me show you uh, the potential hail core. This, I think, is growing, and so uh, this is just in the last it's hour. It's developing, so watch out. It, it is developing. There's now let me stop this again and point out the other feature we were talking about. Here's the storm for you between Spring City and 10 Mile Watts Bar. Very large hail, half dollar size hail possible between 10 Mile and Spring City right over Watts Bar Lake. Half dollar size hail. A quarter size hail or larger is severe. So we're, we're exceeding that. This is a growing, developing hail core between Teleco Plains and Inglewood in Monroe and McMahon County. So this storm will likely be passing uh, between Teleco Plains and Madisonville over Highway 68 now and will likely be heading right toward uh, Von Orr and Tallahassee and uh, continuing uh, to head toward again uh, 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 Lake Loudon and Fort Loudon Lake I should say. So that's what we're going to be seeing as that storm tracks off uh, to the north and east. So be prepared to take cover in, in that area. The other storms we're tracking Campbell County, Jefferson, Hamblin and also now we have a severe thunderstorm warning that continues till four o'clock for Hancock and Hawkins counties, as well as Scott and Wise County up in Virginia. If you're watching us in Southwest Virginia, in Scott or Wise counties, you have a severe thunderstorm warning. Up in Kentucky, Knox County, Kentucky, we have a severe thunderstorm warning. Most of the, a lot of these are until 4 p.m., less than 30 minutes from right now. But that's what we're seeing again as these storms continuing uh, to track off to the north and east. Uh, the storm for Fentress County, as Cassie mentioned a moment ago, that is currently located in Overton County in Livingston, but is tracking northeast toward Fentress County. And that will be in place until 315 Central Daylight Time. Fentress and Cumberland counties are in Central Time Zone. So that's why you'll see a CDT uh, 415 Eastern, but 315 Central Daylight Time. We have a new storm report. We got uh, half dollar size hail confirmed west of Tab Talbot in Hamblin County. Half what? So Cassie, uh, half dollar size hail two miles west of Talbot in Hamblin County, coming right toward Alpha. The National Weather Service's next ride radar is getting held on, looks like right now. And so uh, that's what we're looking at. That just coming in from a National Weather Service employee. 
So uh, two miles west of Talbot, into, just inside Hamlin County line, half dollar size hell, which is one and a quarter inch in diameter. One inch in diameter is quarter. 0.88 inch in diameter is nickel. 0.75 is uh, penny or dime, just to kind of go through some of this. But half dollar size hail, one and a quarter inch hail confirmed. So here's what we're looking at with the large hail. And uh, let me loop this and see if that it actually cycled down a little bit. Yeah, it's kind of going up and down. You can't see because it's coming, the radar's too low. Yeah, so well, it's coming right up. But uh, let, me, let me slow it down just a little bit. So there's a look at, the yeah, the Strawberry Plains, Jefferson City, yeah, it may be underneath it. That's a good point. And we also have the hail that's continuing around Dandridge. Um, making sure that's outside of our area. Yes. There's a tornado warning in Kentucky just outside of our area. Just double check. Uh, let me take you back out. Again, what we're looking at right now when I'm looping is the potential hail that we're seeing across the region. Again, this is vertical integrated liquid, and it's just a uh, kind of a fancy title for uh, the integrated liquid in the atmosphere that's associated with potential uh, hailstone growth and ice growth that could lead to hail formation. So that's what we're looking at, the potential for some large hail, including uh, just north of La Follette in Campbell County. Again, Talbot Alpha in Hamblin County, just west of Morristown, uh, coming in to Hamblin County. Confirmation of half dollar size hail and, um, and just to the south and east of Spring City in Watts Bar. We have half dollar size hail in Watts Bar Lake and also just west of Morristown and also Lake Tansy uh, Lantana coming into Crab Orchard. We also have a storm that's got large hail potential. That's going, looks like maybe Westall Ozone into Crab Orchard. Heads up Fairfield Glade. If you've been out golfing this afternoon, you've probably been dodging storms left and right. It's been an interesting day, right? The sun will come out and then we'll have more storms. And then we're talking about, yeah, the, uh, the more potential for these strong to severe storms. It's just blossoming. The, the counties showed it in, sh shaded in green, excuse me, counties in green shading have a flash flood warning till 630. This was earlier, but more storms anticipated to move back over the same area. We got new development. And so we're going to have potential flooding in addition to the potential for severe weather. So Teleco Plains, again, Watts Bar, uh, near Crossville, Fairfield Glade, ha uh, Morristown in Hamlin County, north of La Follette. Again, each one of these cells has the potential uh, uh, to, is producing severe weather and possible uh, large hail. And again, uh, just severe, severe weather blossoming and uh, across many areas. Here's what we're seeing right now from uh, uh, Elk Valley and Norma up toward Habersham, west of Clarefield, Jellicoe. So Jellicoe Mountain and just north of Caraville Mountain. So much of Campbell County, you're experiencing some strong to severe storms. Matter of fact, a strong to severe storm crossing over and uh, not just crossing over, but almost parallel and elongated over Interstate 75. And so we have the potential for some damage in wind gust. But also, check that out, still large hail, Habersham, north and west La Follette. And so along McLeod Mountain, we're likely going to be uh, talking, we're talking about some large hail and making its way uh, from north of La Follette toward Fincastle, a 25W Habersham. This will be moving from Campbell County toward Clarefield and Claiborne County, and perhaps eventual, eventually along the uh, Powell Valley, Highway 63 if not just south of Tennessee, Kentucky state line. So if you're watching us from Middlesboro, Harrogate, uh, LMU, Tazewell, uh, also anywhere in the Powell Valley, Speedwell, Clarefield, anywhere in Claiborne County, I'd say heads up on this storm in Campbell County. It's got potential for large hail. And so if you're watching us in Claiborne County or any other area in East Tennessee, and again, we're talking about potential hail, if you have some time, it's may be a good idea to move a vehicle undercover if you have time. And obviously while it's not lightning or storming in your immediate area, but uh, it may not be a bad idea because th th these, these hails, hail systems, hail uh, storms have the potential to do damage to vehicles and rooftops and potential uh, break some glass. So you'll certainly want to take cover. A half dollar size hail also confirmed a half mile east of Jefferson City. That's the same cell that was between Jefferson City and Talbot that moved past Newmarket. Again, that is another confirmation. And that was at 3.30. Uh, so seven, now eight minutes ago at 3.30, half dollar size hail uh, continuing. 
In Bell County, Kentucky, Pineville specifically, let me take you up to uh, get back to radar here. Um, not sure which one they're talking about, but uh, severe thunderstorm north. Of, oh, yes, right here. Uh, this storm in Knox County, Kentucky. If you're happening to be watching this in Knox County, Kentucky, we got a severe thunderstorm. I do want to mention that there's a possible rotation within the storm. So this could be a particularly uh, damaging wind event oh, storm. Brand new. OK, yeah, thank you. Okay, thank you, Cass. So just want to make sure you are aware of that in Kentucky. As again, all, uh, most all of our area, look at these storms. Almost all of these storms coming in are now warned. From cross, let me go back out so it doesn't uh, show that too much. From Crossville to Teleco Plains. Everywhere in between, take a look. All these storms right here that are coming in are severe. They're being warned. Each one has a yellow polygon. So Crossville. Uh, Spring City, 10 Mile, Sweetwater, Noda, uh, Teleco Plains, Madisonville. Again, these storms definitely are packing a punch as they're continuing to track off to the east northeast. Take a look at this. That's a pretty shot uh, just from a standpoint of Alcoa Highway. See, that's an anvil cloud. Look at that. Just in the shape of an anvil. And uh, we've got this new blossoming severe storm. Yeah, that's coming into our region. All right, we're going to get to all these uh, different. Um, Sheriff's Office, Hydro. Oh, by the uh, got a report in on I 40 in Roan County of hydroplaning and spin outs on the road. Heavy rainfall. You got to slow down, folks. This is uh, some uh, pavement pounding rain that's going to hydroplane. Oh, yeah. Hey, Cass, I'll get to that in a minute. But uh, we need to may scope, we may scope this one right here north of Teleco Plains. That's, yeah, this is the new one. Okay, yeah, I'll get to that. Look at that. That's got particular, it's got our interest on it. Um, this particular storm just north of Teleco Plains has got possibility some rotation, just doing a little bit of a velocity scan. And uh, we've got other storms I'm going to uh, migrate over and check out. So right now, north of Teleco Plains in Madisonville, this is the storm that we were talking about with the Hail core crossing over Highway 68 in Monroe County. Damaging hail likely, it could be half dollar size. And also maybe uh, just mature supercell type storm, weak rotation. Also the storm between Decatur and Riceville. I'll pan on over. Thank you, Cass, for mentioning that. Uh, Cassie Nall in the Channel 10 Weather Center, and we're uh, busy, busy, busy. Cass, I'm gonna go ahead and say you type it 100 words per minute plus. <laughs> I to get them all absolutely, today. just the information you're seeing being posted to social media is thanks to uh, Cassie Nall. Rebecca Sweet, Mike Witcher, also been working at it all day long, doing a great job keeping us all informed. So thank you very much. Uh, and these are very active storms. So there's a look at what we're seeing uh, potential. Ooh strong to severe storms up in uh, in uh, Decatur. Uh, Morristown, White Pine, strong to severe storms. Half dollar size hell has been reported. Campbell County, La Follette, Habersham, Elk Valley, large hell, dangerous lightning, damaging winds. So again, one of the main things we want to reiterate, and uh, if you'll bear with me one second, um, we'll, um, and we'll pull in uh, some new information. We have a 20 to watch until 8 o'clock. One of the things, while I'm, uh, give me a second while we're looking at this on radar, I'll pull that right in just a second. One of the things we are uh, talking about uh, and making sure you're aware of and what you need to do in this 10 weather impact day is a 20 to watch and be sure you know where to go to be in your safe place. Yes. That's a big one. That's a big hill core in Teleco Plain. So let me, I'll get right to that, Cass. Thank you. And Absolutely. Here is the uh, 20 to watch until 8 o'clock. It includes all of East Tennessee, Kentucky, and Virginia. So again, we have the possibility of severe weather, including the potential uh, for isolated tornadoes. But damage and winds and large hail are the main threats. Notice that in brown, the enhanced risk area. This means severe weather is likely. Again, the main impacts will be damaging winds, possibly producing down trees and power outages. Large hail up to a quarter inch in diameter, greater isolated tornadoes possible. Severe thunderstorm warning just being canceled for Cumberland County. But let me take you through the next few hours. Strong to severe storms will be possible between right now and at least 6 p.m., maybe 7 p.m. Again, that 20 to watch goes until 8. So we, ha we have to get past 8 p.m. Eastern time until we're seeing a little bit of improvements. So there's a look at the low pressure that is rotating in. That's going to continue to be bringing the possibility of uh, some severe storms with large hail damage winds, and that low pressure is quickly bringing in some very strong winds. Uh, the time of day, unfortunately, 
we've had off and on sunshine and storms, but we've got the heating, we've got the moisture, and now we're being fueled by upper level strong winds and colder aloft. So what that means is damaged winds and large hail are pretty likely at least over the next three hours, basically. At least through 6, if not 7 p.m., and maybe until 8 o'clock for far eastern areas. All right, so let's go back and zoom on into our radar. Uh, Teleco Plains is one of the first storms we're going to talk about. Um, got a lot of information on radar here. Let me go down to the Teleco Plain storm and show you that, uh, first of all, the severe thunderstorm warning will continue until 415 for Blunt, McMinn, and Monroe. North of Teleco Plains and Madisonville, this is what we're seeing right now. We do have that potential for very large hail. Uh, Again, so we are talking about uh, damaging hail. Uh, it could be up to half dollar size hail. We've already had half dollar size hail confirmed in parts of our region, including, uh, it, well, including estimate, I should say, near Watts Bar Lake, but including confirmed near Jefferson City and Talbot. And also, there was another half dollar uh, report uh, that's it's possible north of Teleco Plains, but I believe we had another report of that confirmed earlier, but uh, yeah. These, these storms definitely are packing a punch. So as we slide over to the west, back into McMinn County, Riceville, Athens, heads up. This is the storm near Decatur in southern Meigs County over Watts Bar. It's splitting a little bit. Another one is up near 10 Mile. But again, strong to severe storms coming back into McMinn. Roan County, again, report by the Sheriff's Office of hydroplaning on Interstate 40. There's this, the atmosphere is, has so much moisture in it that you're, we're going to have a lot of ponding and water on the road. So you really need to slow down. And uh, I can testify to that last night. Even last night, the atmosphere was showing, uh, waving a flag and having uh, a big clue of how much moisture was in, the, was in the air because we had just absolutely torrential rainfall coming down last night. Broadway looked like a, a river, if you will. So much water coming down so quickly with the heavy torrential rain that it couldn't even run off fast enough. And so that's what we're looking at. You really have to slow so way down when you're driving to these storms. And this is going to be another round of heavy rain, by the way. This yes. Is coming into, uh, it's coming into parts of Blount County, Loudoun County, Knox County that have already had multiple rounds of heavy rain and are currently under that flash flood warning. Yes. So with this next round, probably round number three or four of the day so far, yeah. coming up into these areas, um, this is, these are going to be the areas that we're very concerned about flooding moving forward. Flash flooding means that the water rises very quickly. It also will recede just as quickly, but nonetheless, flash flooding, very dangerous. Never drive through those flood waters. Even if you've driven that route a million times, you just never know how deep those waters are. So again, another round of very heavy rain, along with the potential of damaging winds and large hail, moving right up the Central Valley right now. And that's going to be moving into parts of Loudoun, Blunt, Knox, and Northern Sevier County that are under that flash flood warning. So again, flooding a big concern over about the next hour for the downtown Knoxville area too. I know a lot of folks are going to be heading out on their evening commutes to head back home. New severe thunderstorm warning just issued for the area. Again, folks, we just need you all to take this very seriously. We have a lot of stuff going on right now. Yes. Just stay home if you don't have to be out and just be prepared to move to your safe place. Cassie, absolutely. And a little bit of levity. No, that's not a football. That is just a highlighted area. Everywhere. Just kind of caught my eye. But anyway. Strong to severe storms making their way back into East Tennessee. As Cassie said, we just had a brand new severe thunderstorm warning. This will be in place for Anderson, Knox, Loudoun, and Roan counties until 430. And that more heavy rain, more damage and winds, more large hail. Yes, uh, hail uh, potential has it at penny size or dime size, this particular one, but also potential for uh, strong to severe storms. Uh, and yeah, that's that storm we were watching up in, uh, up in Kentucky um, that's uh, making the way from Knox County, Kentucky, Harlan County, Kentucky. Again, if you're watching Kentucky, just continuing to track uh, that uh, severe storm there. All right, we have a lot of, we have multiple severe thunderstorm warnings, so we're going to try to get to all of these very quickly. And uh, also we are tracking a strong to severe storms on our cameras with Alcoa Highway. We'll show you that in just a moment. Morristown, take over Hamblin County down into northern uh, Jefferson and Cock counties from Morristown to White Pine near Bybee. Strong to severe storms until 4 p.m. That's for the Morristown Lakeway area, Cherokee Lake, headed toward Bean Station, White, Whitesburg, and Russellville. New severe thunderstorm warning. Again, this will be until 430 for Anderson, Knox, Loudon, and Roan. This is this polygon. Paint Rock, it's in Kingston and Roan County, I should say, right now, headed toward Kingston from uh, Northern Ray, Northern Megs, coming up out of Loudon into Roan County. So Loudon and Roan heading back toward Anderson and Knox.
So again, Oak Ridge, Carnes, Powell, Knoxville, Farragut, Lenore City, Philadelphia, Loudoun, uh, Kingston, and Paint Rock, if I mention your city, Oliver Springs, or anywhere close to these areas, Harbin Valley, again, be prepared to uh, seek shelter and uh, uh, stay out of harm's way. Be prepared to move indoors quickly. Strong to severe storms, large hail damage winds possible uh, within the hour and less than 45 minutes. That severe thunderstorm warning, again, will be in place until 4.30. And uh, again, we're continuing our long form uh, live streaming coverage of severe weather and Tim weather impact day this Friday afternoon all across East Tennessee. Yes, the radar is busy. We've got multiple yellow polygons at each one of these severe. Von Orr, Madisonville, heading toward Tallahassee. Heads up Greenback and heads up from Loudoun into Blount County. And again, I'm just gonna go ahead, let me go ahead and do a storm track and uh, give you a heads up. This particular storm, uh, let's see, what are these storms moving? They move about 45 about miles 40, per hour. Okay, that's a guess. Yeah, 40, 45. 45, okay, good. Um, so if you uh, live in Maryville, it's about, basically about 20 minutes away from you. Just wanted to give you a heads up. This storm that's in Monroe County near Von Orr, it's gonna be moving into Blount County. So Von Orr right now, uh, Greenback five minutes or so, six minutes. Again, Benfield 14, Maryville about 20, and Alcoa 24. All right, so that's what we're looking at with that particular storm in Blount County, heading over to Monroe County, Sweetwater and McMinn County, Athens. This is a line of strong to severe storms, Loud McMinn, Monroe, severe thunderstorm warning till 415. I mentioned the one until 430 for Loudon, Roan, Anderson and Knox. And we have another severe thunderstorm warning till 430 for Anderson, Morgan and Scott County. Uh, Warp I know everyone. Uh, Wartburg. I did. All right. Sunbright to Wartburg, Highway 27, large hail, damage and winds possible. Uh, Wartburg, we got a co hail core moving into your neck of the woods. And I tell you what, if, if you've been watching us and you have family or friends uh, in other places that you want to let them know that they have, uh, maybe they're not, haven't been paying attention, let them know we're streaming live right now. And uh, you can uh, send them this link or shoot them a text, call them, give them a heads up. And because uh, this is our, our main form of long form coverage right now that uh, that will continue to keep everyone updated. So uh, pass the word that uh, we're going to continue to keep folks updated this afternoon as strong to severe storms. Multiple severe thunderstorm warnings continue. Habersham, Elk Valley and up uh, east of Jellicoe looking at potential uh, for some large hail in your neck of the woods as well. So that's what we're seeing. Uh, Campbell and Claiborne County, a severe thunderstorm warning. Again, it's going to continue. Uh, until 4 p.m. And again, that one for Anderson, Morgan and Scott until 4.30. The warning that has just been issued west of Jamestown will be in effect until 3.15 Central Daylight Time. And as we do our radar tour, if you're watching us up in Bell and Harlan counties, now this storm is just about outside of our viewing area, although uh, a sub severe storm is moving into Middlesbrough and Bell County. But I just say go ahead and you know still be on your guard and uh, a severe weather is moving through Northern Bell and Harlan counties. And so as we widen back out and take a look at new rounds of storms, Cassie Nall made a great point a moment ago, and I'll highlight this again when I uh, inadvertently made a football shape. But what we're looking at is the flash flood warning till 6.30 for, uh, for uh, Knox, Blunt, also uh, Severe, and Loudoun counties. Uh, and it's in effect until 6.30. Thunderstorms repeatedly moving over the same area have already produced some flooding. And look at this new batch of thunderstorms. Look where it's located south and west of Knoxville, and the direction it's moving is to the northeast, right over the flash flood warning area. So the reason that flash flood warning, and I'll zoom on in and talk more about that, the reason that was issued is not only because of the heavy rain that produced flooding at the time, but because of the expected rainfall still to come. So again, that's what we're looking at with the flash flood warning until 630. Again, that will include Blunt, Knox, Loudoun, Monroe, and Sevier counties. Uh, at the time, earlier this afternoon, a Doppler radar indicated up to one and a half inches of rain had fallen. Additional rainfall amounts of two inches are possible in this warned area, again, it, within uh, the Central Valley and around Knoxville. And again, in this green sh shaded area, that's the flash flood warning. So we could see an additional two inches of rain possible. And again, now the ground is saturated with uh, multiple thunderstorms that have been occurring ever since last night and throughout the day off and on today. It's been a very active day. We've had multiple rounds of strong to severe storms. 
and we're continuing to track and monitor again these uh, strong to severe storms as they're making their way uh, through the region. Oh, she's as I go ahead and widen out, let me kind of reset just a little bit and talk about go back to that view. Um, again, here's the big picture of those strong, strong to severe, severe storms, storms, and basically, basically it, is it is starting, starting to, to intensify and moving into. Uh, most of East Tennessee coming onto the plateau and into the valley. So if you let me go ahead and stop this uh, view and I'll zoom in slowly. Look at where all the look at where multiple uh, warnings are. Most of the severe thunderstorm warnings. Look at where a lot of the lightning is. East Tennessee, parts of Kentucky, right? So a lot of that energy is being funneled right into our region, coming around the base of this low pressure system and right into our region. So that's what we're looking at. Strong winds aloft, cold air aloft really driving some of the severe weather that we're seeing. Here's what it looks like on Alcoa Highway uh, right now. That's the shot of the storm coming up. That's impressive. Do you mind? Absolutely. Do you mind zooming out just a little bit okay, or just oh, it is zoomed all the way out. OK, you could. Thank you. Yeah, we're as Cassie just panned over a little bit. Yeah, we're 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 tracking. Uh, this is a uh, severe storm. Thank you, Cass. Yeah, you, can you can see the wind gusting in the That's exactly. That is a pretty shot in the foreground here. Here's a look at the look at the base of this uh, severe storm. Now again, we're looking at the rain shaft right here. Again, it's a mature supercell thunderstorm. A lot of wind energy, a lot of moisture, heavy torrential rain likely could have some probably is going to have some hail with it and could have some damage in wind gust. And so this is just a storm that we're looking at uh, from Blount County. That's the one we're looking at down toward Greenback and Vaughn Orr, correct? And uh, in Loudon and coming out of Monroe into Blount County. So uh, just to give you a visual on our uh, Alcoa highway camera, airport cam, and uh, that's what we're looking at. Just had a, another uh, report coming in on the U, oh, that's UT Chattanooga. Uh, unfortunately, down there, a tree fell on a parked vehicle. So we've got, you know, the wind energy, the trees are leafed out now, and a lot of the wind energy is, uh, uh, is uh, coming in. So. Um, uh, oh, yeah, it's in, it's in photo. Oh, it's in photo. Sorry. Thank you. And by the way, just an update. Let me try to show you this photo. We are getting that's, ready. That's the half dollar size hail from Jefferson City from earlier. Half dollar size. Yeah, that's Perfect. Similar. Thank you. Thank you, Cass. We're going to be starting live five four in about two, two and a half minutes. Come up here in just a moment. And so stay tuned for that. And we will. Uh, let me show you this photo. Thank you, Cass. Yeah. Here's the uh, loading. This photo. There it is. Half dollar size hail in Jefferson City. Now, thank you uh, very much, Timothy Johnson, for that report. And, uh, if, and folks, just a reminder, if you don't mind, if you have a coin, a quarter, a nickel, any coin, just pick a coin. Uh, if you happen to have a half dollar, that'd be impressive. I don't. But if you happen to have a quarter or a nickel or a dime or a penny, etc., uh, put that in the palm of your hand beside the hailstone. If you, if you have it, if you don't, it's okay. But that gives us perspective. But that, if you look at that concentric ring in that hail core, Oh, yeah. Thank you, Kess. Thank you. Got it. Uh, yes, that's thank you very much, Timothy. That's an impressive uh, hail core um, uh, across the region. OK, folks, we're going to get ready to start uh, our live at five at four uh, show coming up at four o'clock in approximately two minutes from right now. So we're going to go ahead and end this particular live stream. I've got to switch mics. And so you can uh, hop on over. We'll likely continue to stream if our digital folks are listening in. Uh, Tom, what we may could do is continue to stream live if that's possible oh, on our Max One computer or continue to stream live. And I'll be hopping over to my Weather One mic. And so we'll go ahead and get that ready now. So thank you for joining us, folks. Live at 5 at 4 starts in about a minute and a half. I hope you have a good, safe rest of your Friday.